<sighs> Great. Now my two closest friends have decided they hate me. This is so unfair. When have I ever... Oh, and my moon! That too! He better apologize when he comes back. It's not like the Earthlings need him or anything. I hope they hold on. It's been a tragic end to this year's summer football season. In other news, after preliminary reports in the form of what people are seeing with their eyes, scientists have finally confirmed that the moon is gone. It literally disappeared. While there is no official explanation as to what has happened yet, strange weather events and tidal changes have been occurring all over the globe. Doomsday preachers from all over the world are asking the question, Is this one actually it? Get back inside. Whatever's going on, it can't be good. I really hope your daddy's alright, and that the people in charge have a plan. Everybody relax. We can't be at each other's throats if we want to- Even for you? That is low, China! Stealing the moon? What is this? A Bond movie? If you really think we could steal the moon without you noticing, your surveillance technology must be even worse than we thought. But of course, you're only blaming us because you stole the moon! What would we need the moon for? What would we need the moon for? Enough already! This is not our first rodeo, now is it? The moon has mysteriously disappeared before, and we always got it back. Thankfully, we have a man in space for that. He handled it last time, he can do it again. Are you certain that your man in space can solve this problem before it turns into a catastrophe? I would bet $30 on it! Hey, so, have you spoken to the Earth lately? No. You? Nuh-uh. I guess you stopped being friends then. Yeah. He just wanted to be friends for validation or whatever. You were right. I'm sorry, man. Ugh, I wish the Earth would just reflect for once. You know, I don't like being on these terms with him, but I can't just forgive him over and over and- Hey, no matter what the Earthlings said centuries ago, the universe doesn't revolve around them, okay? This is for the best. The Earth will be okay. Ugh, you're right. Maybe I'm getting a little too worried. Things are looking dire. While we wait for the Mission General of Rotsar to give us the moon back somehow, weather conditions have worsened much faster than scientists originally predicted. What began as the tides growing weaker quickly led to a complete upheaval of the seasons and the day-night cycle, with some parts of the world fully losing access to sunlight, while others don't experience nightfall anymore. Astro Dude! Why won't you respond? I wish I could fire him right into the sun! <sighs> I hope whatever he's doing is important. He might not have an Earth to come back to. Without the moon to balance our planet's axis, the Earth is becoming increasingly unstable. I mean, it was one argument, right? Titan needed validation, not me! He was like, oh, I'm just like you, Earth! What does a moon like him know about what being Earth is like, huh? What having warring humans that might just fall over dead if anything goes wrong feels like! That's all I told him, and now they're all acting like I'm crazy or something! Exactly, Earth, you did nothing wrong. Titan was just jealous. I don't know why I reacted that strongly either. And I just started accusing you of stuff out of nowhere! You know how hot-headed I can get! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Well, don't cut yourself short. Yes, I was kind of playing you up against each other, but I had my reasons! Exactly, and that's all that matters. A good friend would forgive absolutely everything you do to him, no matter how insecure and cruel. I... insecure and cruel? Well, I wouldn't say- Of course you were! We tried being honest with you and you doubled down on your flaws until we couldn't take it anymore! But that's just what best friends do, right? Okay, this is getting weird. But you can't be okay with this, right? Well, why wouldn't we be, pal? Cause... Cause you're my friends. Cause you tell me when I screw up. Cause you don't let me get away with everything. Cause you're honest? Who needs honesty? You just want everyone to come back to you and tell you that it's all good, right? What? But no, why- Cause that's how it usually goes, isn't it? Your Earthlings are so important. Everybody has to respect that, right? It doesn't even matter that you treat everyone around you like garbage. They should be sorry. They should apologize to you. Hey, stop it. Well, I didn't treat anyone like garbage. Sure, I made mistakes, but... But what about me? The one who keeps catching asteroids for you? Who keeps your axis in check for your Earthlings? That isn't... I deal with your fits. I deal with your Earthlings on my surface. I help you when you get in trouble. I always come back, and you... Stop it! You know that I appreciate you for... Being just a moon? That's what you said, Earth! That we can't be anything else! Well, you know what? I had enough of you, and I'm never coming back! Uh, who? Uh, who's... 
Wait. Hey, Earth. Moon? You... You're back? Yes. I... I think we need to talk. I... Uh, I don't understand. Why are you back? Sorry it took me so long. I had to try to fix the mess you created, but I couldn't do much. Now there's a whole moon uprising going on, led by Titan and Ganymede, and... Yeah. Wait, so... You didn't really abandon me? You were actually... Helping me? Why? After everything I said... I Listen, Earth. How long have we known each other? A couple million years? Exactly. I've seen you through all your phases. You weren't always like this, you know? You tried more than anyone to develop life, and you succeeded and achieved your dreams! But then, you... changed. The Earthlings took advantage of you, polluted your oceans, destroyed your forests, all while searching for another place to escape to once they're done with you! None of us have been through that. You're wrong. What? I mean, you're right, but... What? Is that my excuse? I shouldn't try harder? Uh, w w what are you saying? I'm saying that I suck and that I don't deserve your friendship. You don't de What? Hey, uh, Mercury? I need some help. Look, it better not be about the Earth because I'm done. No, it's... Well, yes, it's the Earth, but he seems very different. It's like he... wants to change. I'm not buying it. And you should know better than to just come with me, okay? Do you know what's the best time to eat sushi? Wait for me! Sunrise! <laughs> okay, that one was pretty good. Ugh, I already told you, Moon. I don't want to be your friend. You see? Good ol' Earth. Wait, wait, wait. And why not? Because I don't deserve it. I'm a... An egocentric narcissist who deserves to be alone! Well, you do know that if you are alone, your Earthlings won't survive for long. They either leave me and find a better home elsewhere, or they deserve to go extinct. Whoa, whoa, okay! You were kidding, Moon! I told you! He's like, at the bottom of the barrel! What now? Earth, do you want to be better? I don't know. Do you want to keep hurting others? N no Then you want to be better. What are you getting at? We can help you, but you have to let us help you. And you have to put the work towards improvement. But what if I don't deserve... Ah, uh, stop with the self-pity. He's telling you that you can... It's your choice, Earth. You have to take the first step towards self-improvement. Is this like a goodbye party thingy? No! It's... Oh, no! What? What? The Earth is heading to the sun. Everyone will be happier this way. Exit the Goldilocks zone, right? Yes. I don't care anymore. Um, but wait! What about your Earthlings? They don't care about me. But you care about them! Come on! You're not thinking straight! My Earthlings have been looking for a way to leave me for a long time now, okay? Nobody should be close to me. Nobody wants to, so I'll just do them a favor and speed up the process. Hey, come on, stop! I'll... If you get any closer, I'll... Shoot a solar flare? I don't care.